Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to react to another creepy TikTok compilation. But before we begin, I want to give a special shout out to those who've been commenting and subscribing and liking the videos. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Now let's watch. It's pretty good resolution to zoom all the way in. My husband passed away. That's the blood stain off the bed. These were his dressers. Obviously, we moved the bed. This was a lot of his stuff. What I'm trying to understand is the, um, the blood. It takes a while for all that blood that, that I mean, he. he it was a long time. Yeah, I was gonna say. Five, five times when he found them. Well, we could rip apart the walls. No. <laughs> <laughs> the basement. Oh shit! Those lights way. just went out. Look, just there's the light right remember. there. Look at it with the camera right now. That's weird, man. That's what they just? Oh, they're back on. What the, remember? Fuck? what the fuck, dude? Look at that. Something like over here, and I was like up in there looking. Fucking chills, bro. I saw that Ouija board framed up. That's probably why that's happening. That one in Japan must have been a scene from the new Godzilla movie. And that one in Mexico, that must have been the recent one with Hurricane Hillary. The following video comes from TikTok user Harry McClary. He has been experiencing strange activity in his home and has documented several encounters. He has captured terrifying events from disembodied footsteps running at him to objects moving on their own. Back on March 1st, 2021, he may have captured the most bone-chilling event so far. He was in the kitchen one evening and noticed an odd shape coming from one of the bedrooms. The image was too dark to get a clear view, so he decided to open up the image in Photoshop to brighten the area. After altering the photo, he reveals a terrifying face peering at him from around the corner. Nick Perry from the YouTube channel The Hooker was driving home alone late one night on the allegedly haunted Dyers Lane Road in Roseville, California. He claims to have seen a terrifying shadow figure in the middle of the highway and believes it may have attached itself to him. Recently, he has been experiencing strange activity in his home, from hearing disembodied noises to seeing shadow figures out of the corner of his eye. One night, when he was home alone, he heard some creepy sounds and started to record.
The cat was like, nope, I ain't going out there. They, they claim, like, oh, this is the urban legend. You know, the Serbian dance lady. If you see her dancing, you have to dance or else she's going to chase you with a knife until she gets you, you know? Will you start dancing? Or what? Oh, f- best believe I'm going to dance. <laughs> I'm going to dance holla, you know? Seen a lot of clips of that Serbian lady going around. I want to dance with her, too. been a lot of apparitions being caught on security cameras nowadays. Picture that we're going to see. I think this, taken is a, this is an astonishing picture, in fact. With infrared film. Oh, yes. And it's in the upstairs bedrooms. Just to the left there, you see what looks like a small boy's face looking out with bioluminescent eyes. This was the room of one of the young boys who was murdered there. Isn't that eerie? Now, a lot Whoa. of people would say, well, is that the spirit of the young boy? No, it is not the spirit of the young boy but is a diabolical spirit with luminescent eyes that appears in that home <coughs> to confuse the investigators. But it, it, you think that is an evil spirit, Ed? Positively. Everything about this house was evil. You know, a lot of people say, well, you know, I was in that house one time and nothing ever happened to me. It's not that a house is haunted 24 hours a day. You don't walk into a haunted house and see ghosts flitting all over the place. Mm-hmm. After 9 o'clock, the psychic hours start, 9 to 6 in the morning. Mm-hmm. 9 o'clock, the energy starts to build up because of the darkness. Mm-hmm. Then you start to get what we call the infestation in a house like Amityville. First, you hear the little knockings, the rappings. Then you might hear pounding sounds. Then you might hear crying or sobbing, uh, hysterical laughter. These are the types of things that actually happen in these homes. Mm-hmm. But pictures like this taken with infrared film, the camera is neither for nor against the supernatural or supernatural world. Right. It only takes what it sees. Mm -hmm. And what it sees here is a spirit of a diabolical nature in that room. Can't even trust the little ghost kid anymore, man. Casper lied to us. Scary facts you didn't know. Your mind can sense when someone or something is staring at you even when you're asleep that explains why you wake up in the middle of the night for no reason. It's even worse when you have mirrors next to your bed. Good luck sleeping after these five creepy ghost videos. In this first clip we see a young boy coming out of a room at night. He seems to be looking back as if waiting for someone, perhaps the imaginary friend he has talked about to his parents for so long, wasn't imaginary after all. The next video shows a driver at sunset who encounters the local ghost haunting the road. Our third clip shows a resident filming his bathroom after repeated banging after dark. Unfortunately, he looks like he found the source. This creepy clip shows the shadow man thought to be the former owner who killed himself in the basement. In this final clip, we find a family filming their pet rabbit after losing their beloved dog only days prior. Perhaps he hasn't actually gone anywhere at all. Man, that second clip, that's anybody's worst nightmare. Paranormal videos on Reddit part one. Reddit user, bored guy online saw a apparition down an ICU hallway. Let's zoom in a bit. Real or fake, you decide. Reddit user VanillaBean28 has something run at him from the stairs. Hello? Oh my 
Although it's just audio, it's still terrifying. Follow for part two. That running audio always gets me. Well, guys, that is the video. Thank you for watching. Again, I appreciate each and every one of you who's been interacting with this channel. You guys are great. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Peace.